is. And now you gotta get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? Baby, now I got the flow. Come on by the pool. He's peaceful, cuz. And I've been waiting so long. Now I gotta resurface. Oh, yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. What's good, Postal family? Y'all already know the spiel. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yo, we want to give you a little bit of information. But first, Jay's face is a little swollen. Went to the dentist today. I'm not really happy. I don't like dentists. Yo, it feel like somebody was taking a jackhammer to my... Yo, what, what, what am I even talking about? I was talking to the boss, man, about uh, basically time being exchanged for money. Now, what do I mean by that? It's called annual leave exchange. Don't make fun of me because I might be drooling here. Don't. Some people need to go to the dentist. I don't know how y'all got people that work at the post office ain't got no damn teeth. We got great dental benefits. But anyway, um, all right. So annual leave exchange. So basically, postal family, every year after your career, I believe it was for non-career as well. I could be wrong, but somebody going to correct me. So at the end of the year, around this time, you have the option to exchange some of your annual leave for shmoney. Here is the stipulation. You need to have a minimum of four weeks accumulated that will remain after you take the money. That comes out to 160 hours. 40 hours a week, four weeks, 16, yes, 160. So let me explain this one more time. In case you didn't know, you will accumulate more annual leave than you're able to use. If you are one of those like myself that may have four or $500, $500, four or 500 hours sitting, you can use... Anything that you would like, exchange it for money. You put it in now and it comes on the first check of the year, but you have to leave 160 hours at all times. You always have, because throughout the year, you need to have that. But you have to leave 160 hours. Think about that. You got, you know, 300 hours. You can ask for 140 hours on your check on top of the two weeks that you already worked. That's a big whop. Some people need that. Somebody may be behind in bills. Somebody may want to pay their uh, Christmas debt off. It's there for you. Little things that we have. And when it comes to mind, I try to share it. So this may not be pertinent information for somebody, but I guarantee there's a lot of people that didn't know this because a lot of new people watch me. Um, I believe they hit you for 25 percent, though. I I, I could be wrong, like a 25 percent in uh, tax on that. Some ridiculous number, but it's there. It's there. You exchange it. And I think it started back during the covid time. So. It's definitely good for anybody. Again, this is for career employees. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, Use that information for what it's worth. This was just a little tidbit of information for you. You Yazimi, this is JH with just a tidbit. And if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. But I got this information I had to get it refreshed yesterday from the boss man.
All right? JH, we out.